That's the girls playing tricks on him. Bro, that's not funny, man. Today on the show, we're gonna be watching Hell House LLC Origins, The Carmichael Manor on Shudder. We've watched along and enjoyed the entire franchise over the last year. Recently, of course, finishing with part three, Lake of Fire. The franchise has really grown on me and I'm pleasantly surprised that we're getting an origin story released today. So I'm up at 7.30 in the morning just to record this for you guys. As I say, this is the finale for our Halloween season. Believe it or not, we've done over 40 movies on the channel and it's been one heck of a ride. If you'd like to watch all of these movies with me from start to finish, you can do so over there on Patreon. And any donations towards the channel will be much appreciated. I'm hyped for this movie. I hope you guys are too. Let's do this. You got this big mansion, Rockland County, New York. Oh, this is like completely different then from, from uh, Hell House, okay. Both dead in their beds, just horrifically. Oh my goodness, look at that. For the last 30 years, like completely vanished. Ooh. Patrick was driving Margaret home from the city when they were... This is a lot of information. Margaret was declared dead at the scene. So they've lost the sister in a car accident. The rumors that it was haunted started very early on. We love a good haunting, don't we? And still, no answers. Okay, very funny. It's just nothing. Whatever. Stay in the home for an extended period of time until... So someone went and stayed there. Why? Their bodies had been found in the manor. So they're dead as well. That happened to Margot and Rebecca was the 911 call that... <laughs> Would you go and stay there, two women? Why? Please, something's in the house with us. Margot, it's not him! It's not him. Four nights of completely perplexing and... Four nights of horror coming up. Great. So two girls in a haunted house. Great. Oh, my God. This is too early for this. Why? I fucking love it. I get so excited. This is, honestly, I've said it before, yeah? This is like my Christmas. I love Christmas, don't get me wrong, family and all of that. But this is like my own personal Christmas for me, for horror. I love it so much. I have a question oh, for you. Going the car, Michael. Yes, you knew it. You knew it. He knows. I butchered in the bed or whatever the heck it was. Yes. Hey, right, let's go check it out. Yay. None of us have actually been inside of it, so. Wow. So local law knows, everyone knows about it. It's one of them stories. I was in Rockland County once as a kid. Oh, is that the thing with the... With the what? Oh, so there's a story there then. Marco, how off the grid is this place? We've been driving on a dirt road. I love this, the look of this though. Like you see like all the trees and all of that. I love it like, it's creepy, isn't it? You don't know how to read a map. I've got a thing for trees as well. Big trees like that big old one there. Look at that, beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that is <laughs> really nice. <laughs> That place is beautiful. This is where we're staying. I was talking to a friend about this yesterday, about what would you do if you had loads of money? I'm not into all the big luxurious stuff, as you know, but that's beautiful. They've been trying to get things ready in here. Also, are you okay with being on camera for a few minutes? <laughs> yes, that's fine. That's the family then, right, okay. For Margaret's death, car accident. Oh, so they're all in that photo, okay. Really, nobody stays here more than a few nights. No, it's because it's haunted, mate. Very Downton Abbey. <laughs> yeah, of course you'll have Nice. Linen. All we need to see now is that they've got a piano. We want to hear that song. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Good, because we have plenty. Call me sentimental. I consider myself lucky I didn't see the crime scene photos. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see all of that stuff either. We've seen that one at the beginning. That's enough, isn't it? It's master bedroom. Largest room we have. So, Arthur and Eleanor... Nice wallpaper. Hit by a truckload of town trunks. Place your bets on who it is. Are you familiar with the Abaddon Hotel? <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah. I thought that might interest you. Ooh, definitely interested in the antique store. So we might be heading to the Abaddon at some point then, cool. He's gonna be an extra hand. He's Margot, gonna help. he's not an extra set of hands, he's a liability. Who's Chase? Can I shut this thing off now? Yeah. Okay. I'm getting the, um, the vibes of that other one we watched. I forgot what it was called now. Amateurville, I'm get, that that house, I'm getting that vibe. Oh no, it's the clowns. Oh my god, oh my god bro. Well, I could see why they would keep it locked. Oh, you're beautiful. Margo. Hey, he's here. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? I love them so much. So Chase is another victim then. Are you getting married tomorrow? 
what's what's her name? Is she <laughs> what happened to her at a county fair as a child? What happened to her? When Margot was about ten. So they've known each other a long time. It took her a little while to realize something was wrong. She's lucky she got away. Very lucky. I think in some ways, she felt partially responsible. So that pushed her on to do this sort of thing, to stop it happening to someone else, maybe. Very easy for the police to see a single set of footprints leaving the house and going into the woods. Yeah, but that doesn't mean nothing, because we've seen this with other characters like Possessed, haven't we? We've seen Luck. people come and go. Catherine, she was killed in our room. Can we switch with Chase? I don't think I could sleep in a bedroom if someone's been killed in it. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm glad you called, I'm just... Yeah, what do you want me to do? <laughs> what? No! It's... It's... <laughs> so I need at least two cameras filming at all... I love sloths. That's the Carmichael Manor! 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 Bit like the hotel in The Shining as well. I know it's not as big, but I'm thinking the hallways and that. I'm just very thankful that you came with me at all this time. So thank you. Got pills on the side. What are the pills for? This is probably going to be one of the last times I'm able to go with you. At least for a little while. I think it's going to be the last time for all of you. Can you turn that thing off for a second? Oh, we're getting serious for a second. Okay. Do you actually think this place is haunted? I don't know. Do you think it's haunted? Yes. Need help. Oh, no. you don't? Because... Help from what? Nobody knew where you went. That's... <laughs> That's not... So is it drink or drugs? Rebecca? Oh good, she's gone. Okay, oh she's filming. It sounded like someone was singing downstairs. Singing? Oh lovely, we've got an, a singing girl ghost. Yeah, just go down there, you idiot. She's gonna annoy me. Don't scare me. I thought Sank was gonna jump out. I got some new ones yesterday. The old ones had like a weird odor to them. Yeah, of course. We have not yet invented a better way. Keep an eye on that door over there. I don't trust nothing, man. Figure if this is going to be our last adventure. Oh my god, how can she not see that? Love you. How did she not see that? Please film. That's it? You don't need me to do anything? No, that's it. So just leave Chase at the mansion so he's going to get killed first. Great. Oh my god, so the clans are going to be saying to do of all of this, aren't they? Is that a magic box? Box of tricks, maybe? What is that? Hey. I've just, I've just figured it out. God, what is all this? I've just figured it out. The big bald one we haven't seen yet is the one that tried to take her. Oops. That's why she's scared. Chase. You know the one I mean? Like our main guy, our main big hench clown. I just want to make sure you're all good, that you're going to be good by yourself. <laughs> He's gonna be fine, we'll never see him again. Oh, you wanted footage, Margo? Ooh. You fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Typical bloke, isn't he? Doing stupid things. It's a tax evasion scheme. Ooh. <laughs> that would be me. Carmichael. He's gonna regret it. Uh, don't like it. I heard that too. Rebecca! Oh. Yeah, get it on camera, bro. Margo! Oh, gosh. It's a bowl. It's some sort of a bowl. Is it the nose thing, the clown nose? I told you. It's a clown nose. Come on, you guys better not be fucking with me. Go away. It's the fucking clown, bro. And it's just gonna be standing there. Oh my God. Oh my God, come on. I told you. Oh, you guys. Oh. Look at this. Yeah, wow. How to Abaddon. Jesus. Beautiful. What's all this here? Those are all the things found at the Abaddon Hotel. Oh my God, the Ouija board thing. They find all this junk from the Abaddon Hotel. Nothing that big of a deal. Yeah, the Ouija board thing. Craig, it's secret. Okay. Secret clock with compartments. Oh no, put that back. Put it back. I don't want to know. 
Oh, videotapes, great. Yeah, of course we've got videotapes hidden inside. This is a great idea. Let's get them and watch them in a haunted house. Hey guys, are you here? Yeah, they'll be here. They'll jump out in a sec. Fuck. We don't want blurry cameras. Stop with the blurry camera. <laughs> Who was that? Hello? It's a fucking hand. <gasps> There's a hand on the wall. Oh. There's a hand on the wall. There's a hand on the wall. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, <gasps> That's the girls playing tricks on him, bro. That's not funny, man. <sighs> hey, who's that? <sighs> That's not funny, bro. That's her. Say something. That's the girls. And the other one's gonna make him jump. Here we go. Yeah, it's the girls. I think it's the girls. Okay. It's not the girls. You okay? Did the power go out? I thought it was the girls. I thought there was that mask that was by the clock on the table, and I thought that's what one of them had on, and I thought they were pranking him. Are you down here and upstairs? You might be right about this place. Yes, let's go. It would actually be real. Pack your bags, let's go on holiday. The following footage was developed by Bradley after receiving it in the mail from Margot. By the time the film was ready to view, Margot had been dead for several days, so she never got to see it. I hate that it's I identical to what that guy just filmed. <laughs> So that's the daughter. We gotta go, we gotta avoid the bridge traffic. Where are you guys going? She's the one who died in the car accident. Get one last shot of me before I go shine on stage. Oh, poor girl. Patrick was never the same again. Well, you wouldn't be if you've just seen your sister die. Does bleeding from the face. Doc says some form of... Great, that sounds like a lot of fun. Bleeding from the face, yeah, I want that. Return from where? The other side. Not the There's heart. a lot of Come buttons, on. hang on. Closet near the front. Did they not hear the giggling girl? This place can get any creepier. It's gonna be fine. Stop. She's confident, isn't she? Yeah, sorry about that. Donald said that might happen. She can see that girl. She can see that girl with a mask. What? Yep, great. Mario, I'm telling you, something's not right here. Well, we should leave. Like, you'd leave, wouldn't you? I, I just wanted to gauge your comfort level with all this. Yeah, he don't want to be there. I don't blame him. If at any point this gets to be too much for you and you want to yep. leave... Yep. I'm out as well. Thanks, Jason. I think I'm okay for now. As long... Yeah. He wants to get out. Oh. Uh... <laughs> yeah, thanks. Oh, I like Chase. It was Chase who first started urging a little... Well, obviously, like, he sees some weird stuff, bro. Then it got worse. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. I want it to get worse, and I really want to be scared. Let me get a screen share going, and I will show you the listing pictures. I've got a feeling the woman below, you see the woman at the bottom? The clown's going to appear behind her or something. Oh, that's a beautiful house. Oh, look at that. Here, let me show you this next one. I know you're gonna love it too. What's this one? That foyer doesn't really scream fixer upper. Why has it got the house of there? That's where she is. This isn't right. So it's like someone's been taking pictures with her camera or switching the pictures. Beautiful staircase. Oh. Is this the wrong file? Yes, it's the wrong file. Everything okay, Rebecca? <gasps> oh my God, that's her now. Bro, that's her now. That's her now. How is that possible? Are you okay? I don't like that. Oh my God. She's right next to you. Oh, now stop looking. <laughs> well. Are you okay? She's fine. I'm not fucking fine, Margo. You what, is, what is wrong with her, Margo? She's being dumb. I'm getting out of here, okay? We all yes, let's go. This place is the real deal. Let's go. You know, I don't think we should stay longer than we have to. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Let's go. Okay, can you just turn that off and give me... Why are we still here? Let's go. This is the point where you get in the car and you go. Go KFC, do whatever you're going to do. Don't come back. 
Let's go stay in a nice flipping hotel, watch Bambi, eat chocolates, drink hot chocolate and be happy. Plus, I'm afraid she might yell at me if I put it down. Why would you stay? You wouldn't. You're not going to get any pushback from me. That's kind of the sign though. Look, you're, you're feeling like get in the cart and go now. Hey, you're going to be all right. No, you're not. You're all going to die. Two more nights. What, is that the clan? I know. And look at the back. What? Right, what does it all mean? <gasps> I mean, like, there it is. What? We officially have a direct connection between... This house and the Abaddon Hotel, because of the clowns. It's in the Abaddon Hotel clock. Maybe, um, maybe we should leave tonight. I'm with you, Rebecca. Let... That's, that's the uh, bell thing. The... The call button. The call button. The, what? The stairs calling down. Yeah, that'll be the clowns. Above the door. All right, all right, hang on, go. Why would you go on your own, G? You guys are going up there. Yes, and stay here. Why would you split up? Go. Why would you split up? She's eager to get herself killed, this girl. There's always one, isn't there? I think I've realised from watching all these horror movies... The lights on in the room. Like, I've always said don't mess with things, yeah? But this is like, definitely, definitely don't mess with shit. Hello? Jesus. What's this? Hello, clown. How are you doing, mate? Uh, How you doing, son? Wanna play a game? Hiya, Georgie! You are one creepy dude. I love you, but I'm so scared of you. Touch it. Fuck. Shh. Why would you do this? <sighs> okay. <sighs> it's like a man, isn't it? It's what I mean. It's a man in makeup, obviously. <gasps> right, so she's going to be the first one to go then, Rebecca. <laughs> yep. Have one of these little balls to play with. Don't look up. It's going to be something there. They all float. Why would you go towards it? Fucking stupid, mate. Why would you go towards it? God, she's got so much more balls than I have. Oh, oh. That was Mr. Big Clan was in there. No, he's not there. Nope, he's still there. I saw this little girl all alone. What? She said that she couldn't find her mom. This is crazy, man. And then I realized that, well, she's not real. She must. So he was seeing things as a kid, right? And this shouldn't have happened, but she was so real to me. Right, he, oh, schizophrenia. So he was seeing things, but it was real then. The next day, you called me and asked me to come with you here. It was a sign then. It probably doesn't want us here, so let's not disappoint. He's the one with common sense. Um. I would have left that night, man. Just. I would have left. I love, love you too. Good night. Night. So I'm I'm very much like Chase. Rebecca. What are you doing? What? Did you hear that? No, but you've woke her up to make her hear it. I heard like a shout and I thought right outside her room. Wake up, time to crap yourself. She's got a date with death, this girl. Honestly. Nope, 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 nope. I heard that. Oh, flipping egg. God. Chase is gone. Something's happened to Chase. Something's happened to Chase. Oh no. Is that Jesus? Chase? I told you. Shouldn't have left him alone. He's not downstairs or outside. Um, uh, can you? He's, he's gone, mate. He's gone. Uh, it's in here. He's gone. I feel sad now. I liked him. Rebecca? What you, what's she doing, just walking off? Even harder to watch if you, you've seen the video. Oh, no. Oh, crap, dude. Like, all right, we're going to get scared and everything, but I'm sad. I like Chase. I knew they were all going to die, but still, man, I liked him. Good character in this all of these movies. I liked him a lot. 
Maybe the person, the little girl he sees, maybe it's the little sister. And that was her chain, maybe. Mm. I'm like scanning the room constantly to see if we see anything. All right, I think that's enough for tonight. So he's just heard the banging as well then. Yeah, this matches up with the other one. Oh, God. I don't like, I, I, I couldn't stay there. When this is happening, I'd go and leave now. Oh. oh, God, it's too much, isn't it? Nothing. Behind you, mate, behind you, mate. Hello? There's going to be something there. Oh my God, it's giving me goosebumps. I've got that goosebumps all over. I just heard my door open. Oh no. Something just opened my door. It's the fucking clown, isn't it? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the f Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? It's the girl or the clown. It's the girl or the clown. What do you want, Mr. Clown? I love you, but not now, bro. Go away. Just chew. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my bag. We're going. That would creep you out. Imagine waking up in the middle of the night and seeing that, bro. I'm so sorry. We're so sorry. We're gonna go. He's turning to look at him as well. <laughs> but you can't leave, mate. Oh, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's moving, bro. He's moving. I'm going. M move faster. Move faster. Run. Mark! What happened? What happened? Did he get pushed down the stairs? What happened? <laughs> oh, I love you, but you terrify me. Are you okay? I'd say no. By the look of him, no. Oh, Jesus. That's the dead sister's mask. Look, it's dressed. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he kept it. So this is where it's all started, yeah? I don't expect you to wear this, but... Oh, it was his. I thought it was the sister's. I'd like to know how this is connected to our main girl who's videoing it all. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, the mirror, bro, the mirror. Oh, you creepy, 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 creepy sods. Store, they're drunk in our house and I went through a trunk of theirs. Piano. Piano. It's sheet music, let's see. What did I tell you? Da, da, da. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wicked, love it. It's a real happy song, ain't it? <laughs> I'd have that as a wedding, my first dance. It'd be, be this song. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Terrifying song. One of the best ones since Philip Glass' Candyman theme. Where'd you go, Chase? He's dead, mate. Got about 15 minutes left, sadly. Margot. So I'm just gonna try and enjoy the fear, because it might be the last time we get some Hell House. You're not leaving here without my brother. A what? If, what if something happens? Really, really good film this is. Really good. I'm, and we will leave before it is dark, I promise. No. Two o'clock, okay? And that's it, that's it. I'm driving out of here with or without Chase. I'd have gone now. Very little is known about Andrew Tully's early days. Andrew Tully, this is what I've been waiting for. Before they moved to Avedon, New York, is that they ran a gaming stand. No! There's a third clown suit. Who does that belong to? Who's this fucker? The cult started right there at a small town fair. Wonderful. Locals like... Patrick Carmichael. Aha! Once we get into town, we'll go straight to the police, okay? That's what they should have done straight away, called the police is missing. If 
find him, Margot. Okay, they're, they're good at that stuff right now. The car's not gonna stop. If we leave right now on foot, <laughs> we will make it to the main road before the sun. Yeah, let's go. Woods and back roads, we'll never make it. Yeah, you will. 12 miles, let's go, that's, that's fine. Oh, Donald comes back and we just stay the night. <gasps> Let's go. We walk a mile, what, every 15, 20 minutes? Let's go. What are you waiting for? If you want to get out, let's go. Come on. Gotta go now. Let's go. So we're going into a fucking Blair Witch type movie now. That's even before you get to the miles of back roads. And okay, it's really, really in the middle of nowhere. And that was before they saw what they saw. And what did they see? A fucking clan in the middle of the forest, yeah? Sorry about the, uh... Phone. Busy boy today, eh? This is great because this is, again, this isn't doing the same thing and repeating all the other movies. It's doing something different and it's it's really working. Careful, careful. I don't know, how do you keep, how do you keep evil at bay at a time like this? Get a tow and I keep looking for Chase. It'd be nice to know that he would just went off and got drunk somewhere. Do you know what I'm saying? And, oh God, they're going to end up back here, aren't they, for the night? Anything? It's going to be one of them, like I told you, like the Blair Witch, they're going to go around in the circle and end up back at that hut. What on earth is that? Oh, my God. Cross. And that's someone's legs, bro. What? Did you hear that? I don't want to play... I don't want to play Did You Hear That in the middle of the day. Flippin' egg. Whose idea was it? Just... Whose idea was it to come out here? Just walk fast, walk fast, go. We can't... Uh, this was my idea, weren't it? Come on, let's keep going. <sighs> what? What's, what's she looking at? Oh my God. That's one of the dead people, you know. <gasps> it's like a warning to push him to go back. <laughs> here they are. Oh my god. I'm getting goosebumps again, bro. Ooh. Go! I'm getting my cross, bro. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. I see it. Go. I see it. Thank God, thank God. Is this the house or the hut? The house, they're back at the house. My goodness. So it pushed them back there. Go. That's where it wants them. Oh my God. Power of Christ compels you. Mm. That door's gonna open, something's gonna come in there and get them, innit? The clown people with the knives. Why, where's his phone? I left it in his room. Oh no. No, don't, don't, don't go, just, just text him back. Okay, okay. It's a trap. Where have you been? To hell and back. Met some new friends? Yep. The underworld. Who are your friends? Open the door and you'll find out. They want to meet you. Of course they do. They won't like it. Okay, I'll come. <laughs> yeah, she's like inviting them in. Yeah, come on, monsters, come and get us. Yo, grab weapons. Who is that? It's gonna be them dudes with the cloaks, bruv. Here they come. Bye-bye, you two. Enjoy the ride. Oh, dear. Oh, go away. Hello? It's gonna be the cloaked people. Chase, is that you? It's not Chase, is it? What are you doing? Oh, she's not going to stop filming, mate. The door's going to open and you're all going to die. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Bye. Hello. Please. Yeah, I think it's going to be them dudes in the cloaks again. <laughs> oh, my days. Oh, look, there's a little ball on the floor. Let's play a game. Oh, it's so over for you two. You're so finished. You're gone. You're gone. Hello? Oh, God. Phone chimes. What? Bye. What? 
What does it say? Rebecca, stop! Rebecca, stop! It's a trap. Ah! <laughs> uh... <laughs> no, no, no! Oh! <laughs> Lights out. You're on your top, how did you? Only that anymore. What? What does that mean? I thought you were dead. Were you there? No, I told you I was in jail. What? They will tell you we're dead. They're all dead. They just crossed over, so he was there when it all kicked off. You shouldn't be filming me. He says you don't like being filmed. <laughs> oh my God. So it was him and the clowns that done the murders then. <laughs> oh, hello, dead sister. <laughs> dead sister oh my god this film's excellent really really good <laughs> you can see I'm nervous I'm sorry mm. hello killer clown let's play friendly games let's be friends it's them cult people. <laughs> you can't stop them. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> oh my God. The dead sister got her. I can't handle another night, bruv. <laughs> what, what, what? Yeah, it's them people. Like the devil worship people. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I don't want to play with your fucking balls. <laughs> Go away. Hello? Hello? Why don't they grab knives or something? Do you know what I'm saying? Margo! Oh no, it's Chase, but it ain't Chase. Margo, please! Wait, Margo. It's not him, bro. My name is Rebecca Vickers. We're at Carmichael Manor at 101. That's the phone call. Margo! So he's going to end both of them, but it's not really him. It's the spirit of him, the monster version of him. Oh dear. <laughs> the blood. <laughs> the f bro. <laughs> oh my god. Bye Rebecca. It was nice knowing you. Rebecca's gone. Killed by the other sister. And Chase is gonna kill his sister. Oh no. <laughs> Poor dude. Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca's gone, you left her, mate. Please, please. Uh, he's not hurt, he's dead. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, hello, Mr. Clown. Of course, it had to be the clown that gets her. No, no. Oh. Here we go. No, please, please. The gate. Please, please. You are fucked. <laughs> this is the ultimate F around and find out, isn't it? You're done for, love. It's not over. Ah! Oh. Oh. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Naughty clown. Naughty, naughty, naughty. There, sometimes. In plain sight. And the clowns were there, yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Brilliant. Really, really, really impressive. What the heck, dude? What the flip? Oh, wowza. Amazing stuff. Really, really great stuff. Brilliant. What a brilliant movie. Congratulations to the team. That was outstanding. Hell House LLC Origins. Carmichael Manor. The story all names characters incidents portrayed in this production are fictional. I guess they figured since the hotel's gone, all is well again. Oh crap. So that's meaning it's gonna all start again there at the fair. <laughs> all right, let's get to our review for Hell House, guys. Right, ladies and gents, let's get to our review for Hell House. Now, normally we do the free good, free bad, and then we do the rating for the movie. In terms of the good, the people behind this particular movie deserve praise, for real. This could have gone one or two ways. This could have been a disaster movie, and it could have been 
a tragedy, but it was absolutely fantastic. I loved the story, diving deeper into the origins of Hell House, how it all happened. And I'm gonna have to, I'll be honest, I'm gonna have to rewatch them all again because at the moment my brain is a bit lost because there's so much information and I can't really put together who, what, where, why, when. Secondly, I am so, so glad that we got to see the clowns more. I'm so, so chuffed. That's really honestly put them up there with the likes of Art the Clown, with Pennywise. They've made a mark for me in this film. I think the other movies, they're there and they're just standing still, which you, it shows you, you don't have to do a lot to make these movies scary, if the writing is good. The fact that we had more, I wouldn't say action, but more thrill, thrills from the clowns moving, it's not even a lot, but again, you don't need a lot. That at the end there with the girl where he grabbed her, such as nothing happened, we didn't see nothing. It all went fuzzy, we didn't see nothing. That was scary enough because it's built up over time within the storytelling and we begin to love these characters and fear them. Absolutely wonderful. Rebecca to me was the one that came across most naturally and grounded in terms of fear because as soon as you see stuff like this or something like this occurs, you're like, I'm getting out of here, mate. I also really, really liked Chase. I think he's one of my favorite characters in all of the series, simply because he's someone who dealt with mental illness problems a bit like myself. So, not something to be happy about or proud about, but I can identify with the character. And I thought he was written very, very well. I felt sorry for him. I just really liked his character. I identified with that character. Even more so on top of that, I've got to say for the writers again, I'm going past the three good things. I've got to say, bloody well done, because when you take a franchise away from its hometown, the Abaddon Hotel, when you move away from that, it would be kind of like doing Friday the 13th, Jason Takes Manhattan. It's terrible. I love it, but it's terrible, let's be honest. It's like doing Elm Street away from Elm Street. I don't know if it would work. It might work, it might not work. There's a very big risk with these horror movies when you move away from the known set location, but they've done it brilliantly. So in terms of the bad, I don't dislike anything about the film. The only thing I dislike is myself because I can't really remember at this moment in time after just watching it, my brain can't compute everything to, um, to, to you know what I mean, join all the, the lines together where everything connects again. My brain's a bit fuzzed. So I'm gonna have to rewatch them all again, but I have to praise that I've enjoyed this franchise immensely. And if they finish it there, what an absolute belter to finish with. What a great ending to this franchise. Now that the Abaddon Hotel has been burnt down, that story is concluded. Maybe they could start it up and move it along some other way. I don't know in time, but you're really gonna need some good writers to, to compete with that. You really are. In terms of a rating, I'm honestly gonna go with a nine out of 10. I think this was probably, I wouldn't say, I don't know. It's the highest rating I'm gonna give it in the franchise. There was nothing I didn't like about this film. I think it was a perfect finale for this franchise. I really do. It had just enough sort of jump scare elements. It had some brilliant backstory and the cast was solid and you didn't need a lot of people, which shows you again, Hollywood, listen, you don't need a lot. You just need good writers and to be believed in what you're doing. I'll be honest, I'll be completely honest with you now, completely honest, this was better than Sister Death. The Exorcist, When Evil Lurks, you know all of these big movies that everyone hypes up? This has been the best one so far, by miles. I enjoyed this more than The Nun too. I thought this was fantastic. So ladies and gents, you've heard my opinion on the movie. More importantly, I would love to know yours down in the comments. Don't forget as well, this week we're starting Stranger Things season one with my mum, yeah? And then on December the 1st, we're going to be doing Stranger Things season two. Again, watching the whole thing along with my mum. So join Patreon if you want to watch that along with us. There's so much more on there that I don't put on YouTube because I just don't have time to edit it all. In December also, we're going to be covering season one of Twin Peaks on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this thrill ride that is Hell House LLC Origins. The Carmichael Manor was terrifying. My name's Ramon, this is Hit or Miss TV, and I'll see you guys again soon. Peace.